Hey guys, it is Carl Brown with GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're finally going to begin to finish Diary of a Madman. I, I did the first lesson of this on the intro, the acoustic intro, that awesome intro, um, when I was a young, much younger man. So uh, now I'm coming back to it before I'm too old to play this stuff. So um, anyway, we're coming in right when the guitar hits. We are still tuned down a half step uh, to E flat tuning. Um, so those notes are in the description if you don't know how to do that. Uh, but it's just every string down half step. So just like the acoustic intro. Now we start with this main riff, which is the exact same thing that we did in the intro as well. So there's really nothing new to, to learn here in this riff. That kind of thing. It's, it's really killer riff. Um, it's fun to play, um, but we already did it. So now you're doing on electric. Uh, just you want to when you get to those. Those, those two notes really gonna want to kind of palm you to first to control them and second just to kind of give that little thump so they, they come out. Now the very last time of when you're playing this though, it goes all the way up. I'm assuming you know the, the part already. That's why I'm kind of flying through it. But we're just, we end on this C note and then go to those transition chords that leads us to the uh, verse. All right, so this chord, these chords that he's playing, this is a big E power chord. So there's a low E string, the second fret of the A and the D, and then the fourth fret on the G. Then the power chord off the first fret of the low E string, so one on there and three on the A and the D. Up a fret to the F sharp. Then we're gonna go uh, to this C power chord, but we're gonna, uh, over the third fret of the the A string, but you're going to add the third fret on the low E underneath it. Kind of thicken it up. Then down one fret to the B, the same chord shape with the sixth string added. And then it gets to an A power chord that kind of fades out underneath the clean guitar part. So we have this. All right, so that gets us to our first verse. Uh, so let's go through this verse section right here. Now this verse starts at the, how does it say? I think that's, uh, I can't tell. It's either 31 or 51 seconds. Probably 51 seconds. Anyway, so it's going to sound like this. Just, we're going to kind of continue to repeat that for a little bit. So um, we're going to start here, um, just do open A string. So that's the open E string, the fourth fret on the B, sixth on the G, fifth on the D. Then back up to the G string and then the, the B string. Let those all ring together. Then you're just going to take this note, move it back uh, to the fifth fret there on the G, and add, it kind of looks like a D major shape here. Uh, just fourth fret on the D. Um, um, and fourth fret on the B. So you play that shape, obviously not a major anymore. And then add the high E string, at the A there at the uh, fifth fret on the high E string with your pinky. Then just take those notes down, this little shape you got in hand, down one fret while holding that top note. And then just let them all ring. So we have this. Just repeat. But this the second time you play through it, when you move down, you don't have to hold that high note anymore. You just hit the high E string there after it. So it goes. First time. Second. 
So you repeat those two again and again. That's the verse section there. Um, now, kind of really the second half of the verse, it almost sounds like it's a pre-chorus. Um, we have two guitar parts going on. Um, so it sounds like this. That, that happens at the 1 minute and 10 second mark. So it looks like this. All right, so it's just a series of power chords off the low E string. It's the A power chord, that's the fifth fret, then third fret, first, third, first, third, and then you go know, the A power chord there, or the open power chord. So very simple little power chords. All right, so over that, we have another clean, kind of our, our, some arpeggiated chords here. It looks like this. Just like that. So that's gonna start just seven on the D, five on the G, and then the open B. And then five on the D, five on the G, and open B. Then we're gonna go down here to this F, so that's gonna be the third fret up there on the um, D string, second on the G, first on the B. Then take that shape and move it up two frets, but now start the picking on the B string and work your way down to the D. So we went. And then back down to this shape again, picking across it from the D. And then two on the G, open B, and then the first round of the B. So all together, real slow for this part. takes goes back to the verse again second time you play this part it they play it twice as long so he, they just start over with the power chords if you're playing the power chords just... just with the f g and then start over and then the same thing with the clean part when it gets you just play those two chords like that the F to the G, and then start over. So that's just in the second time you play that riff. You're just going to do that in there in that little arpeggio to start over the arpeggio part. All right, so the next thing, it just after it gets through the second verse, it goes back into the main riff of the song, like just played just like the intro, where it ends on that, as if, but it ends on the fifth fret there on the... Uh, G string, and it gets to what is really kind of just like the first, I guess, kind of like an interlude. Um, it's got a lot of stuff that are, is moving around pretty quick. So this happens at the, um, I think it's the two minute and 10 second mark, and it sounds like this. <laughs> All right, so it's, it's kind of the same thing repeated, but um, it's, it's actually pretty fun to play. So we're gonna start with this. So this just the, uh, starting at the third fret there on the A string. You pick it again and do a quick hammer onto the fifth fret and pull back off to that three. Over to the second fret on the low E string. Pick it again and do a kind of little half step bend and release. Now we have um, some. It's very similar to the intro, except it's on the low three strings. So we're going to start with the zero on the low E, second on the um, A string, five on the D. Back to two on the A, and then four on the D. 
back to the two on the A. So if you know the intro riff, you'll probably be able to play this and just kind of move everything down. So. And then back to the low E, second on the A, second on the D, second on the A, fourth on the D, and end on the second fret of the A. So I'll just play through it slow. It'll probably be easier to pick up and just kind of calling each note out individually. All right, from here we have this, which is playing the um, fifth fret on the D string, then the third fret on the B string, and then the open G. Let those all ring together. Then down to four on the D, and then the same top two notes ringing with it. And then we get back to that same riff we just played. And then we have this, which is this one on the A, two on the D, the open G, then the open A with the two on the D and the open G. And then back to that same riff as before. Then we're back to the, the basically the first version that we did, which, um, uh, so it's just that fifth down to the four on the D with those top two notes ringing. Same thing, in the same riff. And then the same second ending as that we did before. And the whole thing with a low E power chord. So it's basically the same thing just repeated twice there as soon as you uh, get into the first Just basically repeat all that to just to get to the end of, and get into the E power chord. All right, now in the last section that I'm going to cover in um, in this video, because we're going to save the the solo sections uh, for the next uh, next lesson, which I'll get you'll it won't take you know five years this time. Um, we're going to uh, for for this one, we're just going to focus on this little arpeggio section, which is really the bridge of the song. Um, so I'm going to go back to a clean tone here and I'll play through it for you real quick. basically have that we get to that section right there and we're going to repeat that a lot so I'm going to wait for that so let's get to this first chord here we're going to start with a low E open then the ninth fret on the D 11 on the G and then the eighth on the B so we have so we pick the low E open then the, the D string then the B then the G B and G again and then the high E then the B so that's the pattern. And I'm just picking in the direction of the next string that I'm going to pick. So we have this. Repeat. One more time. So you do that three times, and then we start moving things around. You're going to, instead of the ninth fret on the D, you're going to move it to the tenth fret. And we're just going to start from here now on the D string. So that's the bass note now. We're going to play 10 on the D, 11 on the G, and then do that across the B to the G, still holding those same two notes. And once again, the high E string into the B. Now we're going to change down here to so they're going to move this down to the ninth fret on the D string, seven on the G, and eight on the B. And we're going to do the same picking pattern that we did in the previous measure. So we're always kind of in and with those. All 
All right, then you're gonna end this section just by, which you're gonna have a seven on the B, nine on the G. Do that a couple times. Then the high E string, seven on the B, G string, back to the B. And then we basically start over with this, this chord here that we started with, um, except we're gonna start instead of this low E string, we're gonna start here on the, G, the B string. And we're just gonna pick across it like this. So it's not really kind of anything being like going back and forth between two strings. It's just um, starting on the B and then going to the D string, G, B, high E, B, G, B. So it's just, and then we basically do, you move to the 10th fret there on the D, that's the only change in the chord, and now the pattern is just like the first time we played this, this, this chord. And then the same thing when we get down to the nine, seven, eight chord, it's the same thing. Actually, I think we change it up there a little bit. With the nine, seven, eight chord, we're gonna go from the D to the G to the B. Back to the G. These arpeggio parts are kind of a pain, aren't they? Sounds great when you get it together. And then the high E, B, G, and back to the B. And then the same ending. All right, so let me just play through what I've got so far real slow, just because sometimes it's just easier for people just to kind of follow along like that. Um, here we go. All right, then the vocals come in, and then we get to a lot more repetitive part here when the vocals start. It's just gonna be this. For the most part, just with a couple of different endings. So let's take a look at it. We're gonna, that same chord that we started with, the picking is just gonna be B string, and then D, G, B, open E, B, G, B. So just kind of, time and then we're gonna do the same picking pattern except it's gonna be with this chord we're gonna have this 12th fret on the D uh, third fret on, I'm sorry the uh, 11th fret on the G string 10th fret on the B and then the high E string so the same picking pattern before so start repeating. Now when you play these chords, it's like just two chords, but when they go back and forth twice, that second ending always changes. Sometimes you'll have a melody like this. There's a lot of overdubs on there. So the really the best way to kind of do it is to kind of mix it up between those. And just do this. It's just 12, 10, on the B, then 12, 11 on the G, and start over. So that's one ending. Another one will be the high E string, and then the 10th fret on the B, and then 12, 11 on the G. So it's just, so you got this or so it's just really a three note or a four um, just so you can put that in there just as you're doing the repeats but if you if you know the song well enough you probably know where to put 
uh, each one. But that's, that's what's going on with those endings. All right, so stay tuned for the next lesson. I'm going to go through uh, the solo section, that cool riff um, that happens right before the solo, and then the solo itself. I will see you there.